We are delighted to have here at the European University Institute the Justice Luiz Roberto Barroso uh, from the Supreme Court of Brazil. Uh, Justice Barroso was um, indicated to the court in 2013 and before he had been a professor in constitutional law with uh, remarkable works on the topic of judicialization and judicial activism. Thank you. Justice Barroso for the interview, it's a pleasure. We would like to, to listen from you uh, a bit about the topic on judicialization and, uh, and judicial activism apply to the role of the courts and the role of judges in the review of uh, administrative decisions of agents. So it's a pleasure to listen to you. It's my pleasure to talk to, to you. Uh, one uh, distinction I've been making uh, that sometimes people uh, miss is that judicialization and judicial activism are not the same thing. Especially in Brazil, that's an important, uh, important distinction. Judicialization means that a certain subject may be brought to court for court decision. And in the case of Brazil, with a very comprehensive constitution and a fairly easy access to the judiciary and including the Supreme Court, just about any issue of uh, mild relevance can be judicialized and brought to courts and can eventually reach the Supreme Court. The fact that a matter can be brought to the Supreme Court, though, doesn't mean that the court will be interfering with the merits of the case. So, activism is this disposition of the court to proactively interfere with the merits of the question or uh, with the, merit, the merits of a public policy. And the way I see it, courts should generally exercise self-restraint except in two areas, which are protection of fundamental rights and protection of the rules of democracy against the abuse of power by the majorities. In administrative decisions by administrative agencies, I think that in general courts should defer to the technical discretion of the agency. So the way I deal with this question is applying a triple test to make sure that the matter was under the proper jurisdiction of the administrative agency, that due process has been observed, and that the decision is reasonable, meaning that it's not absurd in itself. Uh, so it's a control of reasonableness, but done in a very mild way, in the sense that the court should interfere uh, the least possible with the merit of the decision. I think this would be my general approach to this matter. You spoke about due diligence, and I would like to bring a second question with this regard. Uh, in Brazil, uh, judges, uh, first instance judges, uh, have suspended uh, decisions of agencies decisions that sometimes take two years of public engagement to be taken through infringement. So I would like to uh, hear from you your comments on this regard. Uh, I think that the, the default approach to administrative decisions should be that of a deference uh, towards the, the decision. The problem with injunctions in Brazil, it, it's, it's all over. And the main reason is uh, the, the demand for the judiciary in Brazil has increased dramatically. We have like 70 million lawsuits in course right now. What makes the system of justice move very slowly. And in a system of justice where it takes too long for the final decision. Injunctions uh, end up playing a very important role because if you don't get an injunction, 
you might not be able to get a final decision timely. So in order to reduce the number of injunctions, which I think is mandatory, we need to go through a major process of dejudicialization of life in Brazil. We just had uh, presidential elections last uh, couple weeks ago. There were 147 million voters registered and we have 70 million lawsuits in, in course right now. That means statistically that one out of, of, out of every two Brazilian adults is in court right now litigating, which is kind of uh, an impressive uh, figure. So uh, that's the general explanation for uh, uh, the reason why there are so many injunctions uh, issued by courts in Brazil. It's due to the fact that lawsuits take too long. But especially when dealing with uh, administrative uh, decisions, uh, the, in order to give an injunction in Brazil, you need to follow two basic criteria. The fumus bon iuris, that probability that that right will prevail at the end, and the risk in the delay, the periculum in, in mora. Uh, so I think these two criteria should be uh, very thoroughly balanced when we're dealing with administrative decisions that came, that come to the legal world with the presumption of validity as any act that emanates from, from the government, from, from uh, what we say the public power. So uh, this is what I think I, I should say. I'm kind of justifying the reason for so many injunctions, uh, but saying very clearly that they should be rare and used only when absolutely necessary. We deeply appreciated your insightful comments and we deeply appreciated as well the, your time and availability and uh, we appreciate it and we hope you enjoy your time in Florence. So thank you. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to talk to you.